This is where we left off with the sheep wagon running gear on the last video. What connects the front axle to the back axle is called the reach. Now this wagon I'm building has wheels that are 8 inches difference in height. And this means the axles are 4 inches difference in height. So I've adjusted the front axle 4 inches lower than the back axle. This is going to show you the rise that the reach has to take when it reaches the front axle to the back axle. Consequently, this doesn't sit flat on either the front axle or the back axle. So in order to keep both axles straight up and down, the reach has to come through at almost a three degree angle. So here you can see the rise that the reach has to take, but you can also see the fall that the front axle hounds have to take to accommodate the rising reach. This actually goes in the opposite direction that the reach does. So now these angled dados that I cut into the axle caps also have to be tapered by this three degrees. I'm going to take off about three sixteenths of an inch to make this three degrees. Now where the reach is going to come through and be attached by the kingpin has to be tapered three degrees the opposite direction. Then there is a style that is common to most wagons that I'll also incorporate into this gear. Now I'm going to taper the ends of the main axle that will go over the steel axle so that they taper down into the hubs. Now we have the reach that will set more correctly on both axles. The front axle hounds is what helps stabilize the front axle and is also what attaches to the tongue. The front of these hounds has to be encased with 8 inch by 2 inch flat strap.
Now we need a hole for the queen bolt where the tongue will attach. All of these rivets are countersunk so we have a smooth surface. The kingpin is what the front axle turns on, it's what the reach attaches to, and it is also what holds the front bolster in place, which we'll see later. Running a hot rod through the hole not only helps the fit, but it also seals the wood against decay. These two bars that go across the back of the axle hound is what actually sandwich each side of the reach and which helps stabilize the front axle. Therefore we have an upper stabilizer and a lower stabilizer. Both the upper stabilizer and lower stabilizer both get a flat strap that takes the wear from the reach.
There are two sway bars on each side of the fifth wheel plate that help stabilize the bolster when it's in place on the front axle.
Now since the axle hounds take the stress of the pull of the wagon, they're reinforced with steel pins. These axle hounds are also bridged for additional strength. Well, I'm going to call it quits here before I wear out my welcome. Once again, thanks for watching.